What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Light Man here. AK Mr. Light Talk here, guys. And Sun here. Y'all know here we're back with the video. We're back with the Apex Legends video. In today's video, we're going to be playing um, uh, some more Apex Legends, but we are also going to be talking more about the tier list for get past game modes. This is part two of it. And um, once again, thank y'all for the support of the last part of the whole entire, you know, uh, uh, tier list and all that type of stuff for the past game modes. I really do appreciate that. And. Without being said, um, let's get this um, thing right away, and let's start with uh, Kings Canyon After Dark, uh, January 24, 2020, through September 15, 2020. Now, uh, this was set this January 24, 2020. They add this in there, but then it was removed immediately. Not many people didn't like that, but then they brought back September 15 to bring in more lightning into it, but it did not work out. Um, you know, September 15, 2020, did it, they tried to bring more light into it, but it did not work out. Me, personally, I was very interesting with the, um, with the the King's King After Dark. However, it was too dark to see enemies and all that type of stuff. Um, and it, it was just kind of bad. So, for that, I gave it a D rank. The reason why I gave it a D rank is because, well, it's, it's, I mean, it's King's King. I, I love it. It's my favorite map, but... Um, it, it just, it just, it, it's just so, it's just so bad when it comes to after dark, you know, all type of stuff. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like this. No, not one bit. But anyways, oh, and by the way, if I don't get some of the events that are on this, you know, on my list, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, um, let's go talk about this one. This one, who oh, I, I hate this one right here. Dummies Big Day. Yeah, this was an event. I, this was like a, a, a game mode event. Uh, it's January 26th. It was here January 26th, 2020 through September 24th, 2020. Well, this was, um, like I said, they had this in January 20, 26th, uh, 2020, but they had in some sort of event with it. Uh, same with September 24th, 2020. They had some sort of event of that. They had they, this game mode with it as well. Uh, and yeah. This game mode is terrible. I hate it. It sucks. I hope it never comes back again. If you guys don't know about that game mode, it's basically you run around with dummies. You know how you see dummies in the um, the firing range? You basically run around as them, and you basically get these like these weird weird abilities and all that type of stuff, um, and all that, um, and uh, and on all that, you get like mystery abilities and mystery ultimate and all that type of stuff. I personally did not like this mode because this mode is super awful. Because you, you you're not gonna play with your favorite legend. You can play with any other legend you can play with, and it, it just it just doesn't feel right for them to do that. And I hope that in the near future they they don't do that because. Uh, oh, and by the way, I am playing with my friend uh, girl and, and uh, other friend Toast who recently came back to Apex. Um, anyways, um. It was just so dumb for them to put that mode in because when it, it just doesn't make any sense because you, you're not playing with your legends, you're just playing with dummies all day, and you 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 you're going to just have to um just play with them, and you're gonna, you're not going to know if you're going to have your legend you know loadout or anything. You can't have anybody's legend loadout. I did not like that. I hope that never returns. But anyways, let's I'm gonna turn the page a little bit. You're probably gonna see paper turning a little bit, but uh yeah um. This one right here, uh, Deja Loot. This was a game mode that happened around. This was a game mode that happened around March 13, no March 3rd, 2020, March 17, 2020. Um, I gave it. Oh, I gave Big Dumb. I gave Dumb's Big Day a F rank. Okay, this Dumb's Big Day is an F rank. Um, for this one, Deja Loot was a A rank. The reason why I say this was this was really good because. The, the, the same loot that you... It's basically a mode where the same loot you got there from that area will be the exact same loot you'll get for the next, you know, next game or so. So, say for example, you're trying to go... You have a purple armor, um, and you go to, um... Let's see the... Let's see, what... what, what the geysers? You go to the geysers that, um... Well, you go to Shoy Factory. That same purple, uh, shield will be at the, uh... Purple Evil shield will be at the, um... Story factor because it's deja vu, you know what I'm saying? Deja vu all over again. Uh, deja vu all over again. The same items, the same, you know, um, uh, armor, the purple armor, and all that stuff will be in it, which is kind of smart. I like that because people can go to the exact same area, get their armor, loot, and all that type of stuff, and repeat the same cycle again. Except that it's probably going to happen in different scenarios. It's not like you're going to, 
I don't know, man. It's, it's, just, it's just so amazing that they did decide to come up with this idea. I liked it very much. I like the concept that they came up with this idea. Um, I'm super happy they did do that because this, uh, this, this really brought so much attention to my eyes. I, I liked it. It's an aim rank to me. An aim rank. I liked it. I liked it. The, the game mode a lot. It was really cool. Battle armor. This was around April 28, 2020. May 2, 2020. Uh, I ranked this as A rank. Now, if you guys don't know this, Battle Armor is basically where they decided to go through the route of the Evil Shield because during this time, a lot of people from the uh, internet did not like the fact that you know it's it's all you know all RNG where it's just basically you could get a purple shot out of nowhere and you have a disadvantage. And you only got White Shield. And they basically want to test out and see that if Evil Shield will play as a factor. And thank God. That they decided to change the whole Evil Shield route and their thing because, man oh man, it was super hard <laughs> to get, you know, purple armor and all that type of stuff. Even blue armor is super hard to do that. And thank God they gave us the Evil Shield uh, armor in this battle armor event, and it was super amazing because without this, oh my God, without this, we would not have Evil Shields. We will, we would not have Evil Shields. Uh, they would not change the Evil Shield up. I'm glad they did this because now you could deal damage with your Evil Shield and all that. You could deal damage and upgrade it and all that. You could craft it and upgrade it. I'm glad that they decided to do this. Because without this battle armor kind of mode, the, the evil shield would not exist. And they would not put that as a, as a thing. So A, a rank for me on that one. Now, this one does not count as... I don't know if this doesn't count as a vent to you guys, but to me it does. Um, the Hunt. Season 5 S rank. This is my one of my favorite modes to play in. Now, if you guys know about the Hunt, it's basically like a... A uh, event where you basically it was, it was a Lobo kind of event. The Lobo was introduced uh, into the game. She was treasure. She was going for this hunt thing to find, you know, this this helmet, which we all know was Ash helmet. If you guys have not watched my my season five videos or stuff, you guys notice I used to do like all content games to this hunt kind of stuff. And it's basically like a lore for Apex. If you guys are into lore. Which I know most of you guys are probably not into lore, but I am into lore, and I'm glad to decide to go with this route of the lore. Um, this was huge for me because this got me into Apex lore a lot more more than than before. Uh, you know, it was kind of it was kind of not an event; it was kind of a one thing thing. But to me, this was huge for me because without that, I, I wouldn't get the much so much Apex lore like I used to be. Well, when then before, so I gave this event this an S S event now. Flashpoint, oh man, October 6, 2020, October through October 2020, October 20, 2020, it was introduced in this uh, game mode of uh, Flashpoint, October 6, 2020, uh, through October 20, 2020, this to me is an F rank, I hate this mode, let me show you mind what this Flashpoint mode is, you know those big ass circle ass bubbles that you see like going around you see, well, those big ass circle bubbles are the are the things where you basically get your own shield at, and you basically uh, get your own shield, you heal up, and everything in this big ass circle bubble. I personally made a video in the past talking about why I do not like this mode and this mode is so terrible. Oh, and it makes it even more terrible is that there's barely even shields around the map. The only thing you'll find is basically, uh, uh, well, if you somehow found, uh, I don't know, nothing. You basically will find nothing, no other shield. So that's why throughout the entire event, I had to use Lifeline, which I was, at the time, I was moving on to other main characters, other, other characters I had. But, you know what, I was like, you know what, I had to use Lifeline because she's the only one that can give out shields and stuff. And it was so terrible. And the worst part about this is that there are certain people, um, I, I have run into certain people. They would literally camp the freaking flashpoint, the big ass circle bubble, so you won't get in and get no heals. It was just so terrible. I hope they never bring this in again. It's just so stupid. So this is F rank to me. Now, Shadow Royale, October twenty second, twenty twenty through uh, to, uh through November third, twenty twenty, A rank. The reason why I'm giving this the A rank is I mean noise. If you guys don't know about the Shadowfall event, it was so terrible. The last video I made, Shadowfall event was terrible. But however, they upgraded this one to where if you die, in, if you die, you turn into a zombie and you can still help your teammates. So yes, you could die, and unfortunately, there are no respawn beacons. I don't think in this game, game mode. But it was like you basically turn into this this freaking crazy ass zombie. You can jump wall, you can climb up jump wall like a revenant. You basically, basically like those kind of things. Like it was just so, so super crazy. I I love this mode. 
I, this was the mode that should have been the mode in the in Shadowfall mode, but I guess they wasted time with it. Uh, it's just an A-rank to me. Airdrop escalations. January 5th, 2021 to January 19th, 2021. This was a mode that, uh, that was around season, I think, 7 when the Horizon came around. A, it was ranked A. If you guys know, airdrops is basically where the round, as ring goes closed down, they're going to be level of, of, of airdrops are going to be coming in. It's going to have some weapons like Spitfire and G7 Scouts. Uh, level 1 has some it has some blue airdrops, uh, purple airdrops, gold airdrops, and some red airdrops. It was huge. I love that mode. And on top of that, we was at Olympus at the time. It was just amazing. Uh, I loved it. Um, ranked, it's ranked A. Now, here we go. Um, I think we're in the last part of this. I'm not sure. Um, I, I, ooh. Um, hmm, I forgot. Ring Fury. March 9th, 2021. March 13th. No, March 23rd, 2021. Ring Fury. This was around... I think... I remember this event. This was around uh, Fuse event. It was around Fuse event. I hate this event so much. I hate the... No, I hate the... Not the event. I hate that mode so much. Ring Fury is basically where this big-ass storm circles are going to be inside the circle as the ring goes on, as the uh, ring gets closer and closer. The reason why they did this one to make the games go faster, but it was so annoying because without that, you can't third party. Well, uh, it's also this, there's also a mode to prevent third parties as well, but without this mode, you can't do nothing. You can't third party if you even dare go into the circle of, the, of this Big Fury thing. Oh, and the worst part, the bitch Maggie was taking over too. That was the worst part about that too. But the whole point is, is that, uh, yeah, you go into this ring, you'll, you'll, you'll get like a really bad damage, man. It was just so bad. I do remember this mode. I hope that it does not come back. This is a D rank. The only reason why I, I yeah, D rank. Now, April 13, 2021, uh, there was a second chance mode where you basically, uh, when you die, you spawn in, you get like a second chance of respawning back. So respawning back. It's basically live, die, live, except that when you die, you basically have a chance to respawn back. Now, you only have one chance to do that, but after the, the second chance, if you die, you then you have to get your your, um, your respawn get, like, crate taken. This was a, this was a day. This was only was around one day. And uh, I played it, and it was really good. It gave you a chance to, you know, get your stuff back. It gave you a chance to get back in the game. A ranked. Uh, Armor Regen. I hate this mode. Our April 13, 2021. The April 27, 2021. This was a C rank to me. This was around all these events I'm mentioning. Gonna be mentioning. This was around the uh, the uh, fucking. This was around the uh, the um, the fuse uh, a uh, question event. The the fuse question event for season eight. This is around the uh, mode in season eight. So yeah, um, Armor Regen is basically a mode where basically you have no shield and all this stuff going to be out off the ground. No shield, no shield barriers going to be all off the ground. You're basically going to have to, uh, basically the only way you get your Regen and shield is that you have to wait 10 seconds to uh, at least get your shield back and all that. Which means less of uh, your um, your stuff getting, you know, less your stuff and all stuff, you know, uh, less of your uh, shield barrier stuff. To me, this was terrible. I did not like this event, not one bit, but I gave it a C because it was interesting to what APEC was trying to do. They were trying to, you know, make sure nobody doesn't have that many shield cells, they don't depend on their armors and all type of stuff. I understand what they were trying to do, and for that, I respect them for what they did, and it was good. Now, uh, but it was C rank to me. Oh, I could have gave it a D or F, but I gave it a C rank. Ultra Zone, April 15th, 2021 to April, 20, April 21st, uh, 2021. A rank. This Ultra Zone is basically where you know how you go, you see, you know how you appear the first time in your game, and you see the, the this uh, this big ass circle in your map where you get like good weapon items and all type of stuff. You go if you go to that area. Well, guess what? In this Ultra Zone, you have three, you know, Ultra Zone stuff, Ultra Zone um, stuff. Uh, map or whatever you go to in order to get, you know, uh, all like good loot and all types of stuff going to one. I'm glad they put this concept in there because many people would rather go through one area instead of going to multiple areas, which made no sense at, at, at the time. But thank God that they decided to do this. Um, this Ultra Zone because it really helped it out a lot, but shame is gone. Now, Auto Banners. This is the last one. April 19, 2021. Um, this was the only thing that came in there. S rank. Uh, now, uh, the reason why they took this out is because there are a lot of people that are getting the R bands back, 
and a lot of people were just being respond and all that other type of stuff. Uh, uh, but to me, this is an S rank because now people won't have to quit. They can literally just get their banner back. You can literally go to the and respawn and, and basically bring it back. But uh, it, they took it out, I guess. But it was an S rank to me. I hope they do this in the near future. So that way, it'll, it'll limit people from quitting. S rank. So yeah, these are all my tier lists for um, the past game mode for Apex Legends. Hopefully, in the near future, I do this, uh, like uh, like something else, um, like from tier lists and all that stuff, and I create that. But yeah, but that's pretty much it, man. Thank y'all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this whole tier list. My tier list down below in the comments down below. And yeah, as always, take care. I'm out. Peace. The voice of the demon is the voice inside your head. The voice of the demon will make you feel dead. The voice of the demon is 100% real. The voice of the demon is the one you need to kill. The voice of the demon is the voice inside your head. The voice of the demon will make you feel dead. The voice of the demon is 100% real. The voice of the demon is the one you need to kill. kill. kill.